guys, Radical Reggie here, and today we're here to talk about Retro Gamers Us. Now, Retro Gamers Us is a company that puts out reproduction games, fan translations, and hacks, color hacks. And the first game I actually want to show you guys is, is one of my favorite Mario games of all time, and that is Super Mario Land 2 and the Six Golden Coins. But not only that, this is a color hack of the game in full color. This game was uh, redone in full color, and they also added Luigi as a playable character. A lot of fun. I've always felt that Super Mario Land 2 was floaty, but I still liked the game a lot. I mean, the bunny ears and all that good stuff. But Luigi even adds more floatiness to the game, which is awesome too. If you like playing as Luigi in Super Mario games, you'll definitely enjoy how he's put in this game. Uh, fantastic game, makes it so much better. This is one of the Mario games I always thought should have been redone. I mean, Super Mario Land 2 does not, in my opinion, does not get enough love, but Honestly, this color hack is one of the best things you can find. So check this out. Also, another game I got from them is uh, Metroid 2 uh, color hack. Now, Metroid 2 is actually has a very good story to it. But a lot of people haven't played this game because the black and white for the original Game Boy was pretty bad. I mean, I mean, in, in my opinion, even back then it was bad. I, I could not sit down and try to play this game. But this color hack is amazing. They did a really good job with this. I'm very impressed with this Metroid game. Now, I'm just getting started in the Metroid series, so I will be playing this pretty soon. But definitely, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm very impressed with this game, and so will you guys. Next game here is one that I'm not really, uh, not really familiar with. I've actually seen the first game in the series, and uh, the second game in the series was very popular among fans. And that is Survival Kids Part 2. Uh, fully translated into English. I hear so many good things about this game, but I haven't really got into it yet. So I just wanted to show it off to you guys, let you know these are one of the games that has an English translation to it. Uh, like I said, we got the first one. The first one came out in America. The second one was just, just recently got fan translated. So that is awesome for people who like these type of games. And what this game plays like is that these kids are stuck on a desert island trying to survive. So think about... Um, that movie Lagoon without the freaking uh, well, what was that the beach the beach movie called Lagoon something I can't remember, but uh, without all the weird sex stuff. So, anyways, check this game out. Uh, it seems pretty awesome. It has a lot of potential in my opinion. Very interesting. Next game here is a game that's on the level of uh, the Dragon Quest games. Uh, this is a uh, Oriental Blue, and uh, this is I haven't played this game yet, but this got an English translation for the Game Boy Advance, a fan translation. And I hear a lot of people say good things about this game. Um, very cool looking game. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing this. And uh, yeah, another RPG to play on the Game Boy Advance, seriously. Um, now there's a lot of games in this series, but this one I consider, well people consider the one that people should start with, I'm guessing. So uh, nice to know this game finally got a fan translation after all these years. Uh, next game here is gonna be Magical Chase for the uh, Game Boy Color. Magical Chase uh, is a, was is mainly known as a uh, as a turbo uh, graphics game. Uh, it came out on the Game Boy Color, but it was not translated in English. This is fully translated in English, which makes the game even more playable when you're trying to buy spells. Now uh, I forgot to say this, but this is actually a shoot 'em up type game. So uh, very cool to have this game. Um, I like I like the way that you could go and buy new spells and level up your character in that way by collecting coins. So very cool game. If you like shoot 'em ups, definitely check out Magical Chase. Next game is one of the games I've been wanting for a long time for for the Game Boy Color, and this is Grandia Parallel 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 Trippers, <laughs> and this game is a uh, very cool because it's like uh, it's it's more Grandia. Uh, Grandia is one of my favorite RPGs of all time, and I can't say enough about this those games, man. All of them have never let me down, and I'm, I'm supposed this one won't let me down either. This is cool to play on the Game Boy Color. I can't wait to look forward. I look forward to playing this one. Uh, definitely looks like something if you're a Grandia fan that you should pick up. It adds to the story of the series. I'm not sure if it's connected to any games because not really any of the Grandia games are connected with each other, but this one looks pretty solid. So definitely this is another choice for you guys to pick up. Fully translated in English. And the next game here is probably going to be one of the more popular ones out there. And this is uh, Resident Evil for the Game Boy Color. Uh, this was a canceled game. It was almost done. I think it was like 98% done. Uh, some people touched it up, and it's actually uh, fully playable 
Uh, but the only thing is when you beat the game, I, I believe it doesn't have an ending. They probably just give you like a congratulations. But to play Resident Evil, the first game on the Game Boy Color, that's amazing in itself. And the game was actually pretty scary. Put your headset on, uh, lay in bed in the dark or whatever and play it. And it's, a, it's pretty insane. So uh, definitely something that you guys want to pick up. I don't know why Capcom canceled this game. But this is definitely a game that I think, I think a lot of people would love to play. And the last game on this list is going to be Resident Evil 2. Uh, Resident Evil 2 Tech Demo. Now, when I say tech demo, guys, um, that means a tech demo is something just displaying what a system can do. So, this is more of a novelty, but it's a damn cool novelty because freaking Resident Evil 2 on the Game Boy Advance. That's already amazing. So, the game plays all the way up to the basketball court in the beginning of the game. So, uh... The game stops after that, but still, to see this game on the Game Boy Advance is pretty amazing, to be honest. And I was very impressed. I got it as a novelty. Uh, I mean, it's not really too playable because you don't can't play that much. But it's, it shows that how powerful the Game Boy Advance was. I mean, it was actually a, it's actually a 32-bit system. A lot of people don't realize that. So the more uh, development you put into the cartridge, the more the better you get out of that system. I mean, it'd be costly though, to be honest, to put Resident Evil 2. On the Game Boy Advance, but still seeing it play on there, pretty amazing. So next and well, next and last game I want to show you is a uh, Clock Tower. Now Clock Tower English uh, reproduction translation is an amazing survival horror game. It only came out in Japan. Luckily, we got a fan translation for it, and this game is amazing. And not only that, when you buy this game from there, you get this nice clamshell case. They send you a little cover and everything like that. That's cool. You know, kind of so you keep your stuff uniform. A lot of people get their games, and I, I hate how, you know, you just have the cartridge only. But here, you know, you go, like, when you buy from here, you get your stuff uniform pretty much. So, anyways, about Clock Tower. Clock Tower, survival horror game where a girl, um, orphans get a, a transfer to a mansion uh, to live. And as soon as you get there, things get crazy. I mean, uh, everybody disappears. A killer is chasing you. Your friends possibly die. It's, it's insane. Clock Tower is a lot of fun. And it's that trope of survival horror where you can't really fight back. All you can do is run and hide from your, your pursuer. So, um, very cool game. Check out Clock Tower if you haven't. Uh, the Clock Tower series does not get enough love. I love the first two games in the series. I actually love all the games in the series. But um, definitely play this one. I mean, seriously, to play something like this on a Super Nintendo is pretty amazing. All right, guys. I just want to give you a quick look at how the cases look. like a, a Kind of like a close-up. Here's Metroid. Got it like that. Look at that. That's that's what I'm talking about. That's professional, man. You put it like that for us. Got the game inside, popped out. I actually put my original Game Boy manual in here in that little groove right there. But this is how the games come. That's how it looks. Awesome. Show you another one. Grandia. There's that one. And they also put this little this little foam in here so the game doesn't pop out when they ship it to you. So that's good too. Grandia right there. Take a little look again. Resident Evil 2 tech demo. A little information on that. Very cool. I mean, printing these these cases, I mean these covers for these cases, that, that goes a long way. A lot of companies don't do that type of stuff. A lot of companies will just give you the cart by itself and that's it. So this already makes it well worth it. Let's see, survival kids. That looks great. Oh yeah. Of course, my favorite. Super Mario Land 2 with Luigi added to it. See Luigi there. Back of the case there. We'll open it up real quick. There's that game. I like that. I like that blue. That's cool. All right. Resident Evil. There you go with that one. And you got Clock Tower back there. The game in there itself. Very cool, man. So just letting you guys know, I got this from you got these games from Retro Gamers Us. They're a new site out there that sells these type of games. Uh, they sell color hacks, English translations, and reproduction games. So it's a pretty awesome site to check out. A lot of they have quality. They have quality stuff, as you guys have seen it so far. Uh, the cases are uh, custom made from DS cases, which look very nice, and they fit. They're made to fit Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Colors games perfectly. Um, very impressed with their products, and you guys should check them out. So, Retro Gamers Us. Check them out, guys. I think you'll be impressed. And this is Radical Reggie, and I'm out of here.